the clinic provided this video. The team there says that this could be a real game changer because a person suffers from a stroke every 40 seconds in our country. Strokes are now the leading cause of disability. Now the goal is to use this deep brain stimulation to see if it could help the brain when it suffers that stroke or that injury after the brain. It's a little bit like a pacemaker inside the brain. The pacemaker in the heart sends pulses to control the heartbeat. The deep brain stimulation sends electrical pulses into the brain to help manage some of the brain activity to help a disease or a problem. So far, researchers have tested this surgery on 12 stroke patients suffering from moderate to severe muscle weakness on one side of the body. Each person underwent this deep brain stimulation, which as you heard involves implanting electrodes into part of the brain and the electrodes then deliver electric pulses to help regain control of movements. After surgery, study participants first underwent physical therapy with deep brain stimulation turned off or the device turned off for several weeks and then turned on for four to eight months. The most significant improvements were noted with deep brain stimulation when it was turned on right away. But nine out of 12 people in the trial improved motor impairment and function. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.